for the interview questions, and then we'll save the 15 minutes for giving you feedback. Okay. Any questions before we start? Okay. <laughs> Why did you choose the career for which you are preparing? Um, business is always my passion. When I think of other careers like doctors or lawyers, it just doesn't fit me as a person. And as a business mindset, you could do so many different things. You could be in hospitality or you could own your own business. You could do management and different things like that and I think that fits me so well because I like to be in control of things. I like to manage and I like to help others and I think business is a good way to put all of my attributes together. Okay, thank you. What do you consider to be your greatest strength and weakness and how have you worked to overcome that weakness? My strength would be that I'm very determined. When I start something, I have to finish or will just be on my mind all the time until I just cannot stop thinking about it. Sure. And my weakness would be that I overthink as well because <laughs> when something is in my head, I just will not, I will not stop. My mind will not stop racing, and I relate that to my personality as well as a person. It just goes on and on and on. My mind just constantly thinking of new things to do, new ways to do this. Or I could beat myself up about it. Oh, I could have did this better, or I could have did that better. So how have you worked to... to I try to relax things? about things and just take a take a step back and just think, okay, it's not this deep or I don't have to put this much this much um, stress on myself to do this and I can just calm down okay. and relax and get things done and I can put all of my efforts in just to finish my task. Okay, thank you. So tell me, what did you do to prepare for this interview? I looked over my resume and just think of different things that I could say about myself because I know that could be the hardest thing. <laughs> okay, people ask about you and you just say, oh, I don't know, <laughs> but it's you. So I just try to um, think back to a lot of good things I've done and the uh, things that I like to do and I'm into and my skills. What criteria are you using to choose companies to interview with? I look at the requirements and make sure the requirements are relating to me, the locations to say, well, is this somewhere where I'd like to be or somewhere where I'll be happy? Um, criteria. Mm -hmm. Any other criteria you look at in determining if you want to interview for a company? The company culture, mm -hmm. that's very important. And... How would you assess the culture of a company? Just research on the websites and different forums, and I like to look at the um, different reviews for the interview process from a different companies. I like to do that before I interview. Where do you go for that? It's a um, website. Oh, it's called, I can't think of the website. I think it's called Glassdoor or okay. something. Yeah. It, like basic Google search and okay. then, and then you'll a it. lot of things okay. pop up. Yes, ma'am. So that's what I do. Okay. If you were to start college all over again, knowing what you know today, what would you do differently? I probably would choose a specific major, like business administration is so broad. Mm -hmm. So I probably would choose something more focused or I probably would do a major mm -hmm. to something else to have a focus. Yes. And my freshman year, I would start doing these type of interview mm -hmm. clinics mm -hmm. and try to just apply for different interview things that I know 
just to build myself up to get experience. Because my freshman year, I was not, I would go to the career fair, but I would not research the companies before I go, or I would just um, get lost in the crowd. And I was so timid then, so I was say, okay, well, I would be more assertive from the beginning because I was not. Okay. <laughs> yes, I would change that. Like, Excellent. So tell me about uh, the very first job you ever had, and how old were you? My first real, real job, I was, how old was I? It was last year. Okay. I was 20. I think I was, yes, I was 20. And it was at um, Longhorn Steakhouse. I was scared. I was nervous. Not scared, but I was nervous. <laughs> because it was like food service mm -hmm. and fast paced, but I was very excited because I love that restaurant so much. And when I got there, it was, it was like, okay, it wasn't really hands-on. Mm -hmm. Well, it was hands-on, but no one was really telling me, okay, this is specifically how you do this, or this is specifically how you do this. It was like, okay, you're here, do this, do that. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get it done. But at the end of my first week, I got so much praise because you catch on so fast or we really didn't have to coach you through it. You kind of just came in and took over and did your thing and you got it done. So I enjoyed nice. it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what is the last major purchase you made and how did you go about it? Major. That's a subjective term, so you can <laughs> choose. How did I go about the purchase? Oh, yes. Oh, I always try to shop around first okay. before I really decide. I look at <laughs> other options and say, okay, do I like this material or do I like how is the sizing going to fit, how is it going to fit me, my, my personal body, and do I like the color, would the color look great on my skin, and... I just basically try to see if I can get a coupon code. I just, it's a lot of things that I go through when I make a purchase. I usually wait a while before I really decide to buy it. So I'll be looking at a specific item for a while before I actually commit to that item to make sure that it's something I really want to spend my money on. So do you ever impulse buy? Sometimes I do. It depends on what it is. If it's something I really, really like, just say, let's say jewelry. Yes. I would impulse buy on jewelry. Okay. I, I like jewelry. Okay. <laughs> so I'll, you know, get a couple things, but sometimes I have to stop myself and think, okay, is this a necessity or is this something that I already have or do I have something similar or what can I buy? to replace this item or what other things that I could use this money on that will really better myself or be, you know, better for me besides a piece of jewelry that I probably won't wear because I really don't wear jewelry. Out. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, accomplishments. One to three accomplishments in your life that um, have given you the most satisfaction and why? I say my greatest accomplishment is actually coming to college because when I was in high school, I really did not see myself here at Tuskegee University. I was a senior kind of iffy on where I wanted to go or what I wanted to do, and my parents, they really didn't say, okay, well, here's some options. They always supported whatever I decided, but my mom was like, okay. You, you're going to college, but she didn't really say, well, this would be nice for you, or this school would be nice, or that. So I basically was open to decide for myself. So I was like, I don't really know what I want to do or where I want to go. And I really changed my mind about the school that I was going to because I was going to Alabama a and University in Huntsville, and I changed my mind in like June or July before, 
and I chose Tuskegee. And when I visited, I was like, this is home. This is oh. home. And I only had one family member to come here, and he had just passed away in 2012 before I came, in 2013. So I didn't really have anyone to ask, okay, what are the traditions? What are the secret, you know, little campus things? So I was just here, and then I thought, oh, one friend from high school would be coming with me. And on the first day I, I came and I unpacked, I was like, hey girl, where are you? She was like, oh, I'm at Alabama State. So I was crushed. I was like, oh my God, mm. I'm here by myself. I don't know anyone, like no one. Wow. And I, I cried and cried. <laughs> <laughs> the first night I cried and it was just, I was just so alone, <laughs> getting emotional, cause it's so, it was so sad for me. But I just never seen myself here today. And here you I'm are. Sorry. I'm sorry. Here you are close to it. graduating. Isn't that something? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. And your parents must be so proud of you too. Yes. Oh, I'm well, sorry. You know, no, I think it's sweet. It's fine. And that was my last question. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, can I? Here, I'm going to get you off, off the camera. She cut the recording because I would not stop crying. And we just discussed further why I was emotional and why, like, what I was thinking about that really made me emotional. And the thing was that I never really saw myself being at that point, uh, was I senior in college it was probably October around this video September October so I never really saw myself at this point in life and through my college and just life in whole growing up during high school and when I got to college I think the situations that I've seen and been through, it really made me wonder, like, wow, you are a powerful young lady. You can get through anything as long as you put your mind to it. Like, I really never saw myself going to college, even though I knew, okay, after high school, this you go to college, you know what I'm saying, but when I was a senior in high school I didn't have like a definite plan for my future so even now <laughs> being what a month out of college I still really don't know <laughs> but it's just it was in that moment when someone is asking you these personal questions about your life it just got really emotional for me so this is just about a time how I cried with in front of two corporate recruiters so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can see learn more about me through the questions that they ask and I urge I urge everyone to go to college. It's not just about education. It's about learning yourself and becoming mentally stronger as a person. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.